So today we're going to be looking for some faces for my faces journal that I'm making in an altered book. So I'm still working on getting the pages done. I have a bunch of them glued together. I will have a video about that coming out soon, how to alter a book. But today I wanted to look at some faces. And one of the things that I hear a lot is like Elle magazine that has amazing faces is um, expensive, right? So let's look at a bunch of different books and see if we can find some things that or find some faces or things that we can use with faces to be able to, oh, so I don't think anybody can complain that Jennifer Garner is not a cute face, and that's probably a Garnier ad. Let's check. No, that's a uh, sunscreen. Okay, so we're gonna use Jennifer's face. That could be a um, uh, an eyeball. I think we can find better ones than that. I tend not to use children in my artwork. Uh, I just don't feel comfortable with that. But you could use them, especially if you're not gonna be posting on the internet like a crazy woman. I don't know, I think that's kind of cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this out. This may be a good hat, right? Like a fruit cocktail hat. So I'm gonna have faces and then stuff for our, I wish you could yell if you could tell me when you see something and you're like, no, you could have used that. Mm, we have cats. Those could be good hands if we're making, oh, let's take those out. Cause we may use those as hands. And I don't know what that's for. That is for staying strong. Okay, there you go. Because uh, in magazine collage, you want everything to be really weird. Okay, that is really cool. We can definitely do something with that. Okay, fun. Now, I can hear you right now going, yeah, but you only have one face. So all I need is one face. So if you're doing magazine collage and you um, are are trying to pull together something, one face is enough, right? But what I'm doing with my faces journal is I'm gonna do all different ways. I'm gonna research because, because I'm a total nerd, I'm gonna research all different ways you can alter a face in magazine collage because I want to practice so um, you know I really believe that practice makes perfect and I want to get better so you could use her face in a little one let's see do we want to sure we'll take her all right there's a little face so maybe we do a, a little um, I don't like her face at all. The reason being is you could maybe salvage her mouth, but all of this is shaded and I like my stuff to be more vivid than that. All right, all right, all right. All right. This, oh, we're gonna take that because that could be a fun border element. Fun. Okay, and that's that. That was Cooking Light, and I got this at a library, and this is just beat up, you know, not not very fancy. I could probably use this lady. Um, I tend to not use the back and fronts of magazines uh, just because they're so heavy. Okay, this is Martha Stewart Living. So Martha is always really good for, um, I was just gonna say, Martha is always really good for flowers. So I've already pulled a flower out of here. I am going to pull this flower out of here. But I want you to notice that not only is this flower good, so I'm gonna cut out that whole flower, but I'm gonna have a bunch of whatever this rhubarb, yep, rhubarb is afterwards. 
So we have a flower. I love that. I just don't know what I would use it for with faces. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pull that out yet. Oh, there's a hat. Right? So we can turn this this over and put this on some cut out the eggs and put this on somebody's head as a hat. Nice. All right. Let's keep going. Little bird. Boop, boop, boop. That could be a body if you don't have some bodies. That's a pretty one. That's a pretty one. Oh my gosh, where is our other flower? Do we want to have a theme of kind of big flowers in this? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, that could be good. Ooh, let, you wanna take that out? Let's take that out. There's nothing good on the back, so we can put that as a border. I always like these greens. If I ever need trees or leaves or anything, those are always really good. So sometimes, okay, I need this because at least one of them is going to be a dog eye. I've been thinking about that dog. Thank goodness I found him. Uh, you could put cat's eyes on, like, so remember we got that little lady? So we could definitely cut this across and put cat's eyes on her if we wanted, but I really like that cat, so I'm not gonna ruin him. Uh, another dog. So you could cut out her eyes looking down. Those are unusual. We're gonna take that out. Maybe we'll use them, maybe we won't. <laughs> Those people are too little. You could use those blue jeans. This lady's face is great. And I like that dog. So what I would for sure do, see, I can look through it. I don't know if you could see it, but I am going to do this. I'm gonna, so first off it's a faces. So I'm going to come down here, and I can see through this because this is a cheap magazine. I'm going to come down through here, and now I have a little dog for her to have a friend with, right? Okay, let's see. That jewelry is kind of small. I use jewelry frequently, but that seems very small. That could be interesting somewhere. Sometimes you need places for your people to sit on. Ooh. I'm cheating. I need this for the back cover of my color block journal because I have a whole bunch of ladies that have nowhere to sit. I cheated. Okay. Cats with uh, uh, spectacles. I love cats with spectacles. Also for my other journal. I'm getting my work done, people. Ooh, look how fun that is. We're gonna have that for the top of somebody's head, right? Maybe that comes out of, maybe their head is there and that comes out of the top of the hat. That could be fun. I like to use eggs for balloons. No kids, no kids. Uh, this could be a fun border. I don't like her unless I was going to use just one of her eyes. Let's see what's going on on the other side. All right, we'll take her out. All right, all right, all right. Okay, there we go. More balloons. All right, this is a women's health. So we have some good faces. She would be a good face. Look at that. I could use her eyeglasses for sure. And then maybe her body for something. I don't know. Okay, so those are good eyeglasses. Whenever I see eyeglasses, I love them. Okay, black and white faces are fun sometimes. I don't know if I'm gonna use them now. But let's see, we wanna keep our eyes open because sometimes these things could be bodies. You could cut her legs. I'm not all that 
healthy. So I don't tend to use that, but if you use, um, so those squares could be fun as a border. That's a snazzy outfit, right? So that is a really cool set of legs. I love how happy her face is. The problem with her face, which we could get around, let's take it, cause that's like a little challenge, but it's a little tipped, right? It's a little tipped over. It's not quite straight on, but I love her happy eyes. So I'll probably do something with her head and maybe her smile, or I'll just use her face, but she looks so happy. I have to have her, all right. It's like a nice big shoe. That would be cool as border. Okay, I have used these legs before and they're amazing. And they're in old magazines. So let's see what year this is. This is 2019. Oh, that's not too old, but I love these old legs. Okay, I'm gonna take one of these for my, well, shoot, this isn't for faces. I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna take one of these out. I don't know yet which which uh, design I'm gonna use them in, but I just love them. Actually, I'm gonna take out both of these because I do have an ephemera. Um, okay, cat's eyes. Those are nice big cat's eyes. That I love that dog, but he's a little blurry. But this cat, we could definitely use cat's eyes in our faces. And then I have used that as a flower. I know. Ooh, if you don't write your own words, that would be a really good word to put in your journal. I write my own words, so for me. Ooh, this is kind of fun. They are all sad, though. Already have depression. I don't need sad things. These could be bodies. Interesting. How fun would it be to make a pear-shaped body? You could cheat part of this around there if you needed to. Okay, she's turned. See how you're, you would be battling her eyes? But let's try it, because I'm trying to find things that you guys may not have. 11 billion megas, oh, <laughs> giant mouth. That's all me for my faces. Okay, Ooh, this is gonna be fun to do. Today I'm just getting the, the, oh, I wish I could use her. She's not straight on, but I would, I like um, using older faces because I'm not a young girl, so I like representing. That's kind of a cool body shape if you were looking for a body. Those are wicked cool legs. There's a chair. So if you ever need a chair, keep your eyes out for chairs. I might get that chair. I'm always looking for chairs, man. Having, having some place for your peeps to sit is a great thing. All right, I never hardly do this with you. This is kind of fun. That's a fun body. I'm gonna take that out. And if you don't write your own words, that Ultra U is very cool. All right. Her head's turned. This could be fun for them to stand on, for somebody to be standing on if I was making a taller journal. That's weird. I'm sure I could think of something to do with it, but it just seems weird. I'm just trying to get some stuff. I've used those cards and made something to stand on. Ah, that's a great face. Love her face. Okay, so we got her face. We're gonna go through all five magazines. Um, she has a good mouth, right? And this is just a, this is just a, um, a health magazine, right? So we're not going through something that, that you can't find at the um, thrift stores or places like that. fun hat. Look, it's smiling. Okay, I have to have that. I don't know yet what I will do with that, but it's cute. This girl's cute, right? You could put her, like we could put her hair on that cat. That would be fun. 
but this is a people faces that I'm doing. All right, circles, I always try to cut out circles because I love using them um, for my magazine collage. Okay, this girl is the cover, so I'm gonna try not to use it right now. Now we have glamour. Now we have real, real faces. And I think you're gonna be surprised how a lot of times their faces won't work. See, she's turned, she's turned. Because a, fr a full on face picture isn't as good a picture. So a lot of times you can do better in the magazines. I love her, the look of her, but she's turned. You can find bodies. You can find really good bodies if you want real bodies. None of those girls would work. Well, I mean, you could make them work, don't get me wrong. But um, I'm looking for easy, forward facing, like I love that outfit. I would totally cut out those outfits and use them. There's lips, that's weird. Okay, a big eye. I like a big eye. But that's an ad, we could have found that big eye in anything. There's a mouth if we wanted to do so let's look at our turned faced girl. Doo, doo, doo. So she's full on, she's full on. We could maybe put those two girls together. Okay, here's our turn face lady. What's going on with here? Could we take her eyes? I don't know, that seems like a lot of work. I don't know if I'm gonna use my turn face lady. Okay, fabulous. Another ad, not a um, picture, right? So remember, you can do this in almost any book. Um, like when you get your USAA book, when you, so this would, okay, so nothing there. We're going to use those as borders. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, that's a cute face. That's a really cute face. I like her eyes. All right. Cool. Boop, boop, boop. This would be a great body. Michelle. Michelle. I think that's Michelle. Uh, okay, here are some good borders. I love makeup for borders. Head turned. Uh, the bottom part of her face could be good. But we got a lot more from the other magazines, right? Now, that may not be entirely fair because there's a good chance I have. That's a good face, but that's a Amazon ad. Um, there's a good chance I've gone through this magazine before and used faces, so I'm not going to, like, totally throw them under the bus. But I just wanted to show you that lots of other magazines have faces, not just um, the expensive ones. And I don't even think, okay, so her face would be good. Starting to have a lot of really good faces to work with. Her face is cute. Look how cute she is. I love Katy Perry, but Katy Perry sideways. Um, let's see, could we do something with her eyes? I may do, I may try to do something with Katy Perry's eyes. This lady has a big eye. I always love the fronts of magazines. I get more stuff out of the fronts than anywhere else. Okay, last one. And I've been using this one a ton. Um, I used it for a whole, um, a whole video, like her face is nice if you were going little tipped, no good. Huh, okay dress, she looks sad. Models always look so grumpy. But in here, we may find some good sunglasses, right? There are some good sunglasses. Those are kind of small, oh, this girl's face, I love, okay. So I have been waiting to use this girl's face um, for a while, and then I may be able to salvage her dress, but I'm, I've been wanting to use her face for a long time. She's gonna be in my faces book. These are good faces. I like people who aren't models. That's a great face. 
silhouettes do nothing for me, Elle. Sideways face, sideways face, sideways glasses. Uh, Donatella's dress would be good. This would be a great, uh, whole bunch of people bending backwards. Uh, would be a great uh, dress for a, um, so you could do maybe one eye out of that one. This is bad, sideways face, you're gonna fight that. If you had a little face, that would be a good one. This girl has a good face. This girl has beautiful eyes, but they're sideways. This, I've been holding on to this juicy. I'm wondering if, I think I'm gonna keep it again, but I wanna, I wanna make something out of the juicy ad. This isn't, this is a relatively older, this is, oh, 2020, not too old. Okay, okay. Um, a lot of times, and that could be a good um, middle of a hat or a whole hat, turn it upside down. Uh, I buy, why do we want to do that? Let's do that. Because there's some stuff on the other side, but that could be a cool hat. Um, I buy magazines um, on subscription, so instead of costing like $11 billion, they cost, so those are good glasses if you had a really big face. Tom Ford has some good glasses. I like, I don't like Tom Ford's glasses style, but I like his um, advertisements. That could be a body. This shoe is killing me. I have another giant shoe. I have a, a Oh, shoot. What's his name? Hold on. I'll think of it. I have another Jimmy Choo shoe. So I have two shoes. Two shoes. Uh, that could be super pretty on something. That could be a good body. That could be a good body. I like using uh, those to make bodies. This is too amorphous. I keep seeing this. I'm like, and I cut it out one time. I must have had the other one of these. I cut it out and it just was absolutely worthless because it doesn't look like anything. Oh, see, I was looking. So these color blocks could be great for um, uh, borders and those glasses could be great if they were a little bit bigger for what I'm thinking of for this. All right, we're almost there. Okay, so we found some cool things. Those girls have good faces. And I will, this is a great body. I think I might take this out. I've been looking at this one a lot. Uh, bad faces, nice girls, bad faces, good legs. So that would, that would look really weird. Um, so this is, it's called bokeh. It's when you're blurry in the back. I, I love that, but it's blurry in the back. This might be a good um, background. Good face if you need a little one. Good shoes and a skirt if you had something fun going on. All righty, and then Chris, Kristen Stewart. So there you have it. We have a whole bunch of faces. Let's look at them real quick. So we have this gal. This face, I love her face. Big face, Katy Perry's eyes. We have to try to figure something out. Like maybe we could put her eyes on this girl's face and make it really freaky. I like this girl. So let's talk skin tone. So one of the things that I do try to do is to kind of either match-ish skin tone, so these are matchy, or to go really different. So you could put her eyes on this girl's skin tone or her eyes on Katy Perry, and then it makes it look even freakier. Or put this big blue eye on this girl's face and it makes it look weird, right? Um, sometimes it's size, sometimes it's dimension. We're gonna use our cat size for that. This gal's just happy, I love her. And we might use her glasses, and we might use her one eye. This girl has a beautiful face. I like her weird looky down eyes. I like this dog eye. She just looks happy. Jennifer, big mouth, awesome, striking face, happy eyes. 
Okay. And then um, things we pulled out for maybe some stuff to use. This could be a body. This could be a hat or a body. This is going to be a good uh, border. This could be a hat. This is just cool. I can't figure it out yet. I might put that on top of the bird's nest hat. Uh, this is just the back of one of the other ones that I didn't want to lose, but somebody could have a little dog friend. This could be a cool border. Flower, border, cool background images, could use for hands, and I don't know yet, but it just struck me. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.